I just wanted to say watch in full screen or you won't be able to see what I'm clicking. Hey guys, this is Darkside LEGO Studios and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how you are going to make your LEGOs appear as if they are floating, jumping, flying, etc. So let's say I wanted to make this blue brick appear as if it's floating in the air. When you're filming, you want to put other LEGOs, like the bright green ones that I'm using here, below your floating LEGO. After editing, I will be able to erase the green LEGOs, leaving only the blue LEGO floating in a process called masking. Next, you need to download the editing software that is needed for masking. GIMP is a great software to use, and it's free, and it works both on Macs and PCs. I have a link to download it in the description. Okay, so once you've downloaded and opened GIMP, uh, you're going to want to do File, Open, and you're going to select the photo that has just the set, nothing else, just the set. You're going to click Open, and once you have that, uh, you're going to click fi uh, File, Open as Layers, and now you're going to select the picture that has the item that you want to make disappear and all the characters and everything. Like this, this is the one I showed you earlier, um, with the green bricks and everything. And now you're going to click Layer, Mask, Add Layer Mask. You're going to make sure you select White, Full Opacity. Make sure the Insert Mask box is unchecked, and then you're going to click Add. Now you are going to click Layer, Mask, and then Apply Layer Mask. Make sure the Eraser tool is selected. It's the pink one. And then you just start erasing. There's the Eraser tool. Um, then you can make your eraser size bigger like this by selecting a bigger circle and that's just less time consuming you can erase it really fast and stuff and then once you get down to the end you're gonna wanna make your eraser size smaller uh, to get rid of the last bit so just make your circle small and then do the rest or just remember it doesn't have to be exactly perfect I mean there's 15 frames in every second or that's what it should be for your LEGO videos. So if you're a little off, no one's going to notice. Um, however, you will notice in the left side of the picture, sort of the bottom half, uh, that the LEGO studs don't line up. This is because uh, I accidentally moved the camera a little bit and it's enough off so that the picture doesn't look right. So when you do this masking technique, you have to absolutely make sure that your camera's not moving at all because um, otherwise it'll really look pretty bad. Um, so yeah. So that's it. Um, good luck using GIMP. If you have any questions, just send me a message or comment below saying it's not working. I'll be making more tutorial videos soon, so subscribe to know when they're on YouTube. Thanks, bye.